You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Hello friends, Joey the Truth Wagner with you. Welcome into another brand new episode of The Truth Serum. We have some breaking news for the Pittsburgh Penguins that I'll get to in just a moment in episode number 75 of the series. Anyway, this episode of The Truth Serum is being brought to you by SeatGeek. Folks, if you love sports like I do, and if you love going to games like I do, and you love getting a great deal on things like I do, then SeatGeek is the place for you. All you gotta do is use the code JoeyWagner, J-O-E-Y-W-A-G-N-E-R. Use that code, get your tickets on SeatGeek, you get $20 off your first order. So go get your savings, go get your $20 off of some awesome, awesome tickets. Now time for the Truth Serum. Well, everybody, uh, breaking news tonight from the Department of Player Safety in the National Hockey League. Pittsburgh Penguins for forward Evgeny Malkin has been suspended for one game. He will be suspended for tomorrow night's game against the Edmonton Oilers in Pittsburgh. And here's what happened. Well, everybody, it was 4 minutes 54 seconds remaining in the third period of the Penguin game last night. At center ice, Evgeny Malkin of the Penguins, Michael Roffel of the Flyers, were into a little bit of a skirmish. Roffel of the Flyers was cross-checking Evgeny Malkin, and he was punching Malkin in the back of the head. And then what happened after that play is that Evgeny Malkin swung his stick, swung his stick towards the head of the Flyers player, Michael Roffel. In case you missed what Evgeny Malkin did, here is a picture of it right here. As you can see, Evgeny Malkin swung his stick toward Raffle's head. It's right up here. You can see his stick, one hand on it, in a waving motion towards his head. Everybody, I'm a huge Pittsburgh Penguins fan. I'm a huge hockey fan. As, by the way, Malkin was assessed a match penalty for this play, was ejected from the game. But even though Evgeny Malkin got the match penalty, and even though Michael Raffle did not get injured on the play, I actually agree with the verdict by the National Hockey League. I agree with it. I think he should have got a game. I would have gave Evgeny Malkin a game for this. This is a very, very, very dangerous play, folks. Super dangerous. One hand on the stick, and you're just swinging it at someone's head like it's a sword almost. That can't happen in the National Hockey League. That can't happen. That's a very dangerous play. Michael Raffle could have been injured. If someone else did this, they could have injured someone else. It's just a dangerous play that can't be in the game. It just can't be in the game. And I agree with the one-game suspension. Anyway, but here's what I do have a major problem with. I have a huge problem with the National Hockey League officials. The officiating in last night's game was terrible. I don't want to put any specific names and throw them under the bus for the officials. But the officials were just terrible. When Michael Roffel was cross-checking and punching Evgeny Malkin in the back of the head and abusing him. And they didn't call anything on Michael Roffel for that. No roughing, no cross-checking, nothing. Nothing. Only called a penalty on Malkin for swinging his stick. And the penalty on Malkin was the right call. But if you're going to call a penalty on Malkin... 
Michael Raffle got a sit too. And I'll be honest with you folks. The most likely reason why Malkin did this in the first place was because the officials didn't do anything to Michael Raffle. They didn't do anything to him. No penalty, no nothing. Nothing. They did nothing. They just let him abuse a man at center ice. If Michael Raffle would have did what he did to Evgeny Malkin last night, cross-checking him and punching him in the back of the head, Michael Raffle would currently be in the county jail for assault. But because he did it in the National Hockey League on an ice rink, where the NHL officials turned their head in a blind eye to everything, he got nothing. And because the officials did nothing to defend Evgeny Malkin and protect him, Evgeny Malkin felt like he had to put his safety into his own hands, defend himself, try to stand up for himself, and he ended up swinging his stick at Michael Raffle's head, which is wrong, very wrong, very bad. Shouldn't have done it. That's why he's suspended. But this all would have never happened if the National Hockey League officials would have done their job correctly. Can we just stop trying to be right and just get it right? I mean, we have replay. We have replay. You can look, and look at the replay, see what Raffle did, and penalize him for what he did. It's not rocket science. It's not curing cancer. It's hockey, folks. It's hockey. It's not that hard to just do the right thing here. But anyway. Anyway, Evgeny Malkin suspended for one game because of this hit and this swinging of the stick in everybody. The reason why I agree with this suspension for Malkin is because you can't have this dangerous play in the game where hockey sticks are being swung at people's heads like they're swords. It's not the medieval times, it's 2019. And also, also, the league here set a precedent that you can't do this. Because doesn't this seem like the thing that other teams would do to the Penguins to try to injure the stars, injure the talent so they can win. Evgeny Malkin, I understand you were trying to defend yourself, but this play is unacceptable. It can't be done. You're not Tom Wilson. You're Evgeny Malkin. You're better than this. And... And you should be very lucky that this was only a one-game suspension. Anyway, breaking news here. Evgeny Malkin suspended one game for swinging his stick at the head of Michael Raffle. It is a decision that I agree with because this can't happen in the NHL. And I don't want other teams doing this to the Pittsburgh Penguins and injuring Crosby, or Genso, or Kessel, or Latang or anybody, or anybody in the league. I don't want anyone, I don't want anyone in the NHL to get injured because of this dangerous play. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, don't forget to like the video. Please click the subscribe button on the channel. And if you have any comments on the suspension of Evgeny Malkin, leave them below in the comments section. Do you think that the punishment was too harsh, too lenient, just right? I'd love to read your comments about it. Anyway, from the Truth Serum, Joey the Truth Wagner signing off. Have an awesome night.